Welcome back, everyone. We're doing a 300 cylinder. Gonna change out the dang uh, burr on the die grinder. when you lose the special wrenches that come with the die grinder you go to traditional wrenches <laughs> gonna see if this is gonna fight me there or not sometimes this fights me doesn't want to come off but we will see It's fighting me. I hate when that does that. Really makes it a pain. Try not to hit the bird itself because you can crack it. But I got it off. I got it off. This is goes in this kit. Stage five. I got. Uh, SC1, I believe, or SB5 out, SF1, and then SFL1 that are out. But these are for steel, and we're not cutting steel, we're cutting aluminum. I think that's where my problem was occurring with working on this, is I was cutting aluminum with steel burrs, which is possible, but it burns burrs, so... We're going to go ahead and get a one like that to get in there and do that. It's not as long, but and this is SL4NF. So we'll go ahead and do it. This kit was about 300 bucks, so and Benchmark Braces did send me this free of charge. They just want me to make videos on the products, honest videos, which I do. So they're not paying me, but I didn't. They send me products for free, so kind of it's payment. I kind of look at it as payment. Some YouTubers don't look at that as payment. I kind of do because I mean, that's three hundred bucks right there. They sent me, and I didn't have to pay for it, so that's kind of. I mean, payment. And if you're new and you're wondering about the situation, I don't play favorites. Um, so, but. If a product's crap, I'm going to tell you. So, I haven't used their aluminum burrs before, but we're going to try them out right now on the channel. And uh, we're going to get the cutting, so. Okay, I got my benchmark abrasive safety glasses. I'm gonna put those on because the last thing you want is to get metal shavings in your eyes. So, gonna go ahead and slow and see what happens. So, I'm gonna send some more for you guys. And the whole point of this is to get some more performance out of this motor. So, here we go.
I'll tell you right now, that does a heck of a lot better job than the snow ones, which is to be expected. That's the correct burr. That's cutting that down really nice. Man's that kind of really nice. I'm going to have to get a like sanding bit and sand it because, I mean, a burr is a burr. So, to make it smooth, <laughs> I'm going to have to get a sanding bit for the die grinder. Which I believe Benchmark Racers does have. So, I'll check that out. So, but, yeah. Got to get up in here. I don't know if they have longer ones or adapters. But, we'll see. Man, look at that smooth up. You're seeing this as I'm doing it. And go ahead and zoom you guys out. How much material I'm moving. Look at all that. And I am covered in metal shavings right now. Completely covered. But that's a job well done, so... Yeah, so go ahead and have some on the side to do there. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and try to move you guys down some more. Okay. There it is right there. Well, I'm going to call it a video, so that's pretty much what I got to do. I got to cut burr some more. Um, I think it's long enough. It's doing a heck of a lot better job than the still ones, but then again, that's kind of my fault because I was using a still burr on a minimum, and that really don't work too well. I mean, it was working, but it was it was burning the burrs, it was smoking, it wasn't cutting great, so that's getting the job done. I gotta do some measuring. I gotta put the adapters up here or the manifolds to make sure it's all in spec. And uh, I think when this thing's all put back together, it's going to rip. Uh, it's going to have a lot. It's going to probably definitely hit power band. So this two-stroke porting with NRT and uh, catch you on the next one.